Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me once again. So in this video tutorial, we're going to look at how to share a USB attached printer on the local area network so that other computers can connect to it, install the software, and then to print to it through that um, PC that which um, the printer is connected to. So to begin with, the printer must already be connected or installed via USB on a PC, which is the PC through which other PCs would print to the printer. And then also, um, you need to have administrative rights on all the PCs. Uh, this administrative rights are rights which allows you or gives you the right to make changes to your PCs. Also, you will need to enable file and printer sharing on all the PCs. Again, you have to know either the host name or the IP address of the PC to which the printer is directly connected. And then lastly, all the PCs must be on the same local area network for this to, for this to work. So, first thing we are going to do is to go into control panel search for control panel so control panel will click on it and then in the control panel we are going to go to under hardware and sounds if you have to check your the view if it's on the large icon small icons you can change it to category and then under hardware and sounds we can click on or let's click on hardware and sounds and then we'll click on devices and printers. And then in the devices and printers, this is the printer we are going to work on. This is the printer that is connected directly to this PC um, via USB. We can confirm the connection by right clicking on it. Then we'll go to printer properties. Let's go to ports. Then we can see from here that this printer but the printer is attached to this PC via the uh, USB ports. So cancel out of here and then to share this printer on the local area network on this PC, we, we're going to right click on it again. And then we'll go to printer properties again and then in the printer properties um, pop-up window, we're going to click on sharing and then we'll click on change sharing options and then from here we'll click we'll select the share this printer now we are going to have to leave we're going to leave this option that says render print jobs on client computers the selecting share printer share this printer we'll click apply and then okay and then for for this printer to be recognized on the network um, we're gonna have to turn on file and printer sharing so let's click on a network and internet we'll go into the network and sharing center and then we'll click on the change advanced sharing options then we're going to make sure that um, the turn on network discovery for the private network, turn on file sharing. These are all enabled. We'll check for guests. We'll turn on for all networks. We'll turn on. And then we will save the settings. Now, on the other PC, and what we are going to do is to um, first of all open. Um, file Explorer. So I will right click on this and then click on File Explorer. And then um, what we're going to do is to click on the network icon or the network icon in the navigation area. And then over here you're going to see um, file sharing is turned off. So quickly um, turn it on by clicking on it clicking on turn on we will select yes turn on file and printer sharing 
and every after turning on file and printer sharing every device on your network should or would show in this area so for this very particular uh, tutorial this is the pc we are trying to or this is the pc that um, the the printer is directly attached to if you don't see the pc over here the pc you're looking for over here you can go here and then type backslash backslash and type the the the, the name the host name of the computer here so in this case it uh, Then when you press enter, it should open that PC for you. And then you would have to enter your username and password. So I'll do that very quickly. So in the prerequisites, or at the beginning of the video, I made mention of the fact that you need um, administrative rights. So over here, um, the credentials you enter is an uh, administrator's um, credential. So after typing it typing your password make sure you check the remember my credentials and then you click ok these are that uh, shared items for that particular pc again let me also make mention that you can either search for the host name in the address bar or you can just double click on it to open and if you are if not it's because of I've, I've entered the username and password that's why i wasn't asked but if you if you if you haven't if you hadn't or if you ha if you don't enter it, when you double click it, it will ask you for the username and password, and you'll have to type it before you can get in. You can also um, search using the IP address. So you type backslash backslash one nine two dot one dot zero dot one forty nine which is the IP address for the same PC. So the same way as we did for the host name or the computer name or the PC name, um, when you search by, by using the IP address, it will, it will still ask you for um, administrator credentials. So I typed it, I'll click OK. And then the same way it will open the that PC's um, shared items for me. And this is the uh, printer we shared on that pr PC. So we'll go ahead and then right click on the printer and then we'll select connect. So from here, it is, it's going to um, connect to the printer through that particular PC and then install the printer, the shared printer on this PC. Okay, guys, so after a while, the, the pop-up window that said um, connecting uh, to printer on IP address, da, 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 say, which is the IP address of the computer we were connecting to, that pop-up um, disappeared, which uh, indicates that um, the, 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 the connection was successful. So to, to verify that the connection was successful, we can go to control panel, by searching for it in the search box, click on control panel, and then we can go into view devices and printers. And so, yes, this is the printer. So every every time um, we print, we issue a print command through this printer. It will first of all go to the PC with that IP address, which is the 192.0.149. And then that PC will forward that print command or the print request to the printer that is attached to it directly. So I will go ahead and test um, prints by right clicking on the printer, going to printer properties. And then I will issue a print by saying print test page. And as you can see, the command has been issued and then the printer has printed um, successfully. So yes, guys, that's, that That will be all for to today. Um, thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly click on the, kindly click on the like button. Um, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, TechPBA. Um, 
and I will see you in another video. Bye.